Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Path of Titans. This is a mod showcase. The Cryptops was released to the public today. You may have seen some people, you know, able to test it out. This is my first look at it. Um, Cryptops is an abelosaur from Africa. I think it's the early Cretaceous, yeah. And they were, you know, they were on the kind of the bigger side of the um, abelosaurs, ranging from, I think, about 20 to 25 feet so they were a good size but uh yeah let's look at this guy pretty cool little model oh wow so here's its broadcast and that may have been the broadcast nope this is nice nice your friendly call. Right on. Threaten. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one we heard earlier. Um, the alert call. His animations are really smooth. His animations are really smooth in the calls. Your chat call. Oh, I love that deep rumble at the end. Some people like color patterns, some people like some other things about dinosaurs, but it's the calls for me. I don't know what that one is. Is it this one? Or is that the sniff? Let's see. Oh, this is the look around, I guess. And the animations are really smooth. And this one is, oh yeah, this is the sniff. Man, some calls though. All right, so this is the male. There's your female, just a little duller, not by much though. I think it's the white stripes, you just kind of get dull. Nice. Here's your subspecies. This is the Leos. This is the. Oh man, you got some. You're just gonna throw the whole alphabet at me. There's this. El. El Reyos? Reyos? I don't know. I. It's a, it's a neat looking model. I don't necessarily. It's not my cup of tea. A bit too smooth for me. Especially in the. Especially in the head area. I like these. Whatever they got going on at the chin here, I like that a lot, actually. That's nice. Anyways, this is the Gadufio? Gadafios? I don't know, I almost said Gadufios and it made it sound real funny to me. This is your plus defense minus speed. So, he's chalkier, he's got the spikes back. Like, how much di- what's the- Yeah, there's not much difference. The nose, I think. Yeah. It's almost kind of got like a um, marine iguana nose. If you've ever seen like pictures of marine iguanas, they have like a patch of scales on their nose that's like really bumpy. A lot of facial ornamentation. So we'll just go ahead and hop in here on the balance. Hold on, we'll check the base skin patterns. Oh, wow. Sir, you are loud. So, there's a lot of very- ooh, that's, I like that. I think I like this one the most out of all three of the base skin. Alright, here we are. Let's check out some of these animations. The walk. So I, I can't, hmm, I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like he has got a bit too much swagger to him, like a bit too much movement. I feel, and it, maybe there's, a, he has a bit of a slide. I think the tail may be moving too much for me, and the 
run. It's not not that bad. I feel like there's like a stutter or maybe you know, maybe I'm just seeing things. <laughs> huh, I don't know. He looks good though, look at him. Alright, we're gonna hop in the abilities real quick. So, for your head, you just have your normal bite. You have a headbutt, a quick headbutt that deals low damage and strong knockback. You have tearing bite, rip and tear, a Bella sword style, dealing high damage and medium bleed. By turning with your mouse, you can pull victims left or right as you bite. That, that's interesting. That right there is, gonna have to try that out. Maybe you have to grow this guy and see. I don't know. So your senses, you've got sturdy, which is standing, walking, trotting, crouching, increases bleed, bone break, venom, and poison heal rate by 40%. Damn! Dense skull, increase armor by 10%. Increases charge bone break by three points. Decreases sprint speed by five percent. This thing has a bone break. Hone teeth. Gain thirty percent more bleed on your attacks. Trotter. While trotting, regen stamina thirty percent faster and trot fifteen percent quicker. This dude's like just. We're just in senses, right? Yeah, this dude's stacked. Wow. Metabolism. Scavenger, well, hyper carnivore, your hide. Lightweight skills increase speed by 10%, decreases turn speed by 25%. Keratin hide, gain 25% armor. Legs, battering and bludgeon forward, <clears throat> bludgeon forward and align, causing great knockback, low damage, and low bone break. So there's the bone break right there. Go ahead and just. Well, I'll wait later. Your back limb, bruiser, eat 30% more, gain 10% attack, and bleed damage. Steadfast, increase turning radius by 20% on the ground. Nice to have turning radius. I always struggle between tur turning radius and like just keeping or gaining speed. Increase turn radius by 15%. A tail attack that deals low damage and knockback. Oh jeez, beast vision. Increase sprinting speed by your crypt tops, or for your crypt tops and other crypt tops in your pack, and enhances your vision at night for 60 seconds. Disclaimer: Do not use during the daylight. Well, we're gonna. Damn it. No. <laughs> no. Let's just we'll go ahead and unlock these. And uh, we'll check them out here in a second. All right. Let's check out some of these abilities. So, kind of covered it a second ago. Stupid mushrooms, go away. So here's your bite. It's a little slow. And then you've got a headbutt. That's quick, wow. You do it while you're running? Nice. And then, the charge you can only do while you're running. So, oh, bro's quick. I mean, he's got a super slow turn radius. I wonder if that turn radius would change at all if you had all the um, skills that benefit turn radius. Or maybe it just kind of like your, while you're not using an ability. I don't know. Anyways, tail. It kind of like goes both ways, doesn't it? 
they're kind of quick. Alright, so and the next ability is going to be that that beast vision. So we're going to go ahead and look at it during the day. So anybody watching, prepare your eyes. So we're going to go ahead and just turn this off. And then... Oh, shit. Oh, wow. That is nuts. Look at this. This is crazy. You guys are looking at the first iteration of night vision in the game. In Path of Titans. So how long does it last? What if I dug up a critter? Come here. Oh, he's just eating from it. That might be a bug. We've discovered a bug with him, guys. He doesn't have a digging animation, he just has a, uh... Aw. <laughs> He's got red on his face. As if he were, you know, kill something. So far, I already like this skin. It's nice. It's chill. You could... I don't like that skin at all. <laughs> These are just your patterns for your basic default skin. This is your ember. Bit of red. Got some black and browns. That's pattern two, pattern three, pattern one. This is your frozen star. There's a lot going on here. Pattern two, pattern three. Huh. Your red bag. I don't I I don't like this one at all. Are they trying to copy the Carnotaurus off of uh the movie Dinosaur? That looks similar. And it isn't a Bellasaur. <laughs> no, probably not. I like this one. This one looks good. Could you... I bet you can make this skin look really nice. And then the tribal. And that looks really familiar. Pattern 3, pattern 1, pattern 2. Melanistic, everyone knows. Just the dark black. Actually looks good on him. I'm not a normal I'm not normally a fan on melanistic. Of melanistic, sorry. Nah, you gotta go straight black, yeah. There you go. And then albino, probably my most hated skin of any dinosaur ever. Yeah. It, oh my god. It's a macaw. I bet you could do a Scarlet McCall. Hold on, let's see. Um, yep. Yeah, you can do a Scarlet McCall. <laughs> oh my gosh. Imagine, okay, so imagine like a pack of like five, <laughs> the five Crypt Tops coming at you looking at my calls, looking like my calls. And you just get absolutely wasted by them. That's amazing. You just got jumped by a bunch of parrots. That's fantastic. Here's your teardrop. I actually like that. That is really pretty. Ooh. Hello. I think we're on to something. Wow. Guys, I think. So that's got the purple, huh? Could you change it to like. I don't know. I think I like the purple, man. That right there with the black looks really good too, doesn't it? Oh, that's even deeper black. There you go. Hell yeah. No, I like this one. Sorry. Ooh. 
Mm. My videos aren't as pretty as everyone else's. I kind of do a bit of rambling. Oh, man, that is gorgeous. That right there is it. That's my skin. Wow. I'm going to take a picture of that. Boom. Yeah, my uh, videos aren't as pretty and detailed as some when it comes to showcasing. <laughs> it's more of a chill kind of thing. And that looks... Wow. Pistachio. Sorry, I'm nerding out over here. I like that. That's a really good color. Also, one thing I wanted to note is when you lay down, there's kind of a quite a bit of noise there, you know? So make sure there's no one around you. Be careful where you choose to lay down, I guess. And then when you sleep... Hear that? That's a lot of noise. It sounds cool, but like... That could easily give you away when you're hiding from something. He looks cute though, don't he? Wow. Anywho. What we'll do is... We'll dig this guy out and then we'll use our beast vision. Oh wait, we'll set it tonight real quick. All right, ladies and gents. So there's our little monitor lizard. And we'll go ahead and just hit our roar. So you can see him, but I wonder if like actual players in the game are a little more highlighted because he could almost blend in. If he were a player and he just quit moving, he would blend into, blend into the surroundings. He may glow if it was an actual player. But this is also at night. So if you are a player, you do have one advantage. If you're if you were to hear this from a distance, you hear that roar, it should give you a little bit of time to run, unless you hear it close and the cryptopus may have already seen you. Um maybe you would probably want to get up on higher ground if you heard that roar because he's not going to be able to see you up on a ledge but if he were you were like hiding in a bush he may be able to see you but yeah this dude looks sweet look I gave him like some white eyes so he'd kind of like I don't know bring in that night stalker hunter kind of feel and I also switched my skin to that one I was, I was really digging earlier yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to test this guy out and play him more, like maybe grow him and see if I really like him. Now, his running and walking animations are kind of strange for me. Like, bro he looks like he's got. Like, he's not supposed to be running. Maybe that's why they gave him so many turn radius options. Like, he's not fast, but if he gets on your butt, he's gonna tear it off. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think the model looks great. I love the roars. And I'm just going to have to try them out some more. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon for when I upload stuff. Thank you.